And let's get right to it. A Region 8 matchup. The young battling bishops have been struggling this year in Waccamaw. Missed a couple of weeks due to Florence in the aftermath red zone situation. Quarterback Eddie Marino keeps it himself, gives his best Cam Newton impression, stretching over the goal line. That gives BE a 6 to nothing lead. Warriors Brandon Stex finds TJ McKenzie. He's blanked by two defenders to put the ball down to the eight yard line. A few plays later, Austin Hansmeyer pushes it into the end zone with the help of his line. That makes it 7 to 6. In a game that didn't start till 8, it's a little later than normal, the Bishops get a much needed Region 8 win, 23 to 13. Next up, another Region 8 duel, Hanahan at Academic Magnet. Acnad looking for their first region win of the year. This one was completely out of hand in a hurry in the fourth quarter. Second half, the Hawks kept it on the ground. It was a running clock in the second half. The game was already determined by around like 9 o'clock. Hanahan dominates Academic Magnet at 62 to nothing for another region win. They are 2 0. Acmag again, still looking for their first region win. Some more Class 3A scores, a Region 7 matchup between Battery Creek and Lake Marion. We will get that score to you when we find it. And then another one, Manning took down Georgetown 37-7. to Moving on to Class 2A now, Region 6, that's what we've got. Burke playing Oceanside Collegiate at Park Westfield. By the time I got there, Oceanside already up 22 to nothing. But also when I got there, the Burke Bulldogs, the defense comes in strong here, forces a fumble and takes over. However, they can't get any points, so they give it back to the Land Sharks and Bryce Klinger. A completion to Keegan Williams. That is a first down for Oceanside. How about another Klinger completion? This one, a 28 on the sideline. He's going to carry that just a little farther down the field. They are just driving. This was a highly penalized drive, though, so it took a while. But later on, quarterback keeper Klinger finds several holes, gets 10, and then some more for a first down. And again, they scored once, but it was called back because of another penalty. Finally, Williams pretty much trots in for an Oceanside touchdown. They missed the point after, but it's 28 to nothing before the half. The Land Sharks going to shut out Burke 58 to nothing. The rest of the 2A scores starting with Region 6, which is what we have. North Charleston falls to Phillips Simmons 28 to nothing. Timberland takes on Garrett Tech 34 to 7. A non-region game, Andrew, they beat King Street 23 to 6 tonight. Like always, we have to get to our skis of schools. It's week seven, so we've got some more tough matchups coming your way. Let's start first. First Baptist at Pinewood Prep. They would dominate the first quarter. Hike to Hurricane quarterback Myron Wigfall. Slick handoff to this guy, Michael Dukes. Takes it all the way to the end zone. First Baptist is on the board. And again, Wigfall. Wigfall looking for a receiver. A great catch by number eight, Sincere Brown. Towards the end of the first quarter, Wigfall finds Dukes again. It's an easy jog into the end zone there. The Panthers try to get on the board. Ethan Hirsch looking deep for Mikey McVeigh. It's a completed 31-yard pass, but the First Baptist Hurricanes, they just continue to roll this season. Another big shutout win, 37 to nothing. Next week, they host Heathwood Hall. Skis like Class 3A, Hammond at Porter Gow. Just so you all know, Hammond is very, very good. They looked great against Porter Gow. Second quarter already leading quarterback. Jackson Muschamp has all day to throw. Fires deep down the field. Cleo Canty has no trouble with the catch. That extends Hammond's lead. They like this. Muschamp to Canty. That's an easy first down reception for the Skyhawks. I'm telling you, this kid, he, he's good, but he also has so much time to decide what to do with the ball. Muschamp fires it to a receiver on the sideline, takes it in stride, and then the distance. Yet another Hammond touchdown. They're up 35 to nothing. That's not enough. Hammond, they dominate Porter Gow. They win 42 to 14. Some more skis of scores starting with Region 2. This game was Thursday night. Colleton Prep beat Dorchester Academy 22 to 8. And finally, Class 2, Region 2, Northwood Academy, still looking for their first win. They fall to John Paul II, 60-16. to One more break tonight. We are through the high school portion of the show, but don't go anywhere because we've got some college previews. Clemson, South Carolina, Charleston Southern, next on The Blitz.